name's Kate Jones and I create prints of Birmingham landmarks. I draw Birmingham scenes and I surround them by house plants. I sell them online, in store, and I also do freelance design work. So I've always been, I've always been artistic and I moved to Birmingham from Australia five years ago and I fell in love with the city and people were kind of asking me why Birmingham and I kind of got sick of explaining why and so I just started using my art to tell people all the things I love about the city and I started documenting it online and people kind of expressed interest in purchasing my things and that's how my entry into the creative industry started. In the, in the first lockdown um, I was furloughed from my job as a teacher and I used the extra time to kind of get a bit more creative. I started drawing, I started painting, and I started documenting these online, kind of not really knowing where it was gonna go, if it was gonna go anywhere, if people were gonna show an interest in these things. And I, it, it turned out people were interested. So I slowly started building my audience and connecting with other local creatives. And I, I think Instagram is such a great platform for something like that. It really helped me get started. So I've mostly used Instagram. I feel like because my work is so visual, Instagram's the perfect platform for it to kind of show my process reels, kind of behind the scenes, things that people kind of connect with a bit more um, other than just a finished product. Um, I've kind of used that to kind of tell my story and why my work came to be. So Instagram's probably the best platform for it. I also use Facebook and I've just started using LinkedIn um, to get kind of more freelance work. Yeah, so they're very much, very much memorable landmarks in the city that I enjoyed visiting and um, I've kind of combined this with a botanical element because I love houseplants and over lockdown lots of other people have also started to like houseplants too. So I've kind of taken the places that I liked visiting and um, lots of other people have obviously fond memories of those places too. Um, so they've really resonated with people. Oh, it's, it's so important and I think without without connecting with those audiences in on Instagram, I wouldn't, my business wouldn't be where it is. Moving here and not really knowing anybody, I've had to solely rely on making those connections and kind of putting myself out there all the time and kind of saying yes to lots of things and sharing other people's work and genuinely being interested in other people's work. So I think it kind of goes, it goes both ways. I am genuinely interested in other people's work and other people are genuinely, genuinely interested in my work too. And I feel like it's kind of like, this little community and I feel like lots of people on Instagram, Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham creatives are um, so into supporting one another, they're always willing to help. Yeah, obviously at, at the start, if people don't know you and what you're capable of, you kind of have to, you have to show people, you have to kind of prove people. So I did lots of um, voluntary drawings of businesses and um, coffee shops and things like that um, to kind of build up rapport with um, possible future clients, people that would recommend me for future work. So I kind of spent probably the first year really just really just networking and promoting what I can do, what I'm capable of, because I feel like unless you've got that portfolio or that stack of work to show people what you are capable of doing, people aren't willing to recommend you for, for roles. I've always been an illustrator, but I've never kind of seen it as a career that could kind of lead to paid roles or lead to work. Um, but it's, it's something where I feel like you're always working on your skills, you're always working on your networking, you're always working on your marketing, um, you're always working on being able to talk about your own work and explain exactly what you do um, to be able to articulate yourself. Yeah, I feel like you, you're you always kind of adapting your skills and I feel like you very much say yes to things and, and hope, that, <laughs> hope that you're able to do and fulfill the exact brief that that client's looking for. Um, it's been like a bit of a balance of having my own style of illustration, my own work that I do create and have clients approach me for work that may not be exactly like my work. And obviously that's where having a portfolio and just building up a variety of work to show that you can, you can do more than just what my own brand is. So it's kind of good to have, have both elements. So I've done some freelance work for a company that um, they laser cut um, items out of metal and I've kind of never really had to draw in opposite before. So the bits that you are drawing are cut out and it, it's all dogs that I've been drawing and obviously that's very different to my own style of work. So it's kind of been, it's, it's, all, it's all learning and it's all kind of 
a process to get to a finished product, um, but I was really happy with how they turned out and he was too, so. <laughs> I'd say kind of teaming up with like the Creative Alliance and Prince's Trust have kind of given me a great network and opportunities to meet people that I wouldn't have met on my own that I guess my Instagram platform wouldn't have introduced me to as like a, a physical in-person meeting. So it's been a good opportunity to kind of build my network of people who would possibly recommend me for work. So I've been selling online for a year now. I've, I sell through Etsy, um, that's where I sell all my items. And then after, after, after a year, I set up in Red Brick Market in Digbeth and um, I've got my own space that I've decorated and you can come and shop my pieces physically um, in person.